up, people? Welcome back to Freaky Nip Live. My name is Dinesh. We are watching back again Bojack Horseman. And this is called Our A Story is a D Story. And in the previous episode, we went uh, and saw Diane's family and see how f***ed up his family is. Bojack was like, Diane is not broken enough to write my story because I had such a terrible past. I had such a terrible parents. I want people to look like, oh, he had such a terrible life before, but now he's doing so much better. So he wanted a broken person to write his memoir. And then he did find out that Diane is actually pretty, pretty broken inside. She's been through a lot. Her dead dad is on the chair, dead. He also has balls drawn on his face. <laughs> Meanwhile, the brother just watching the TV. They didn't even care, got him cremated. At the end, the dead dad did what he was supposed to do was to hit somebody in the junkyard i think that's what they mentioned but yeah let's see what this episode is about if you're not subscribed to my channel guys please do it subscribe we want to hit 10,000 subscribers now so if you're new here please hit that subscribe button and if you want to watch the full length reaction we did this episode and other movies and tv shows that i do head down to my patreon it's a wonderful way to support the channel and get early access to all of my full length reaction videos over there power off Thank you. Alrighty guys, we're gonna start this in three, two, one. Honey. Oh, <laughs> oh, I thought you had honey. Oh sh Diane! <laughs> hey, Mr. Peanut Butter. It's a pet name. Dog is calling you by a pet name. Horseman. Put her there! That's alright. I'm gonna get that answer. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Since when am I honey? Since now. I made up the nickname while you were back east. Yeah, really? You made up calling. <laughs> Leave so, yes. Hey, nope. why don't we give Bojack a ride? That's okay. Todd's supposed to pick me up. Where is he? Well, Bojack is supposed to get people. Oh yeah, he is in jail. <laughs> <laughs> well, stick with me. You're gonna be just. Oh, oh my God! No, well, okay. Don't stick with anybody. Oh my God! What the? F what the? F as bumpy as that pilot's landing. That was seriously very scary. Hey. <laughs> he got tennis balls in his in his car. Hopefully he doesn't take his head out while driving. Hey, I might be crazy because this is such a dumb question. And I'm embarrassed to even ask, but do I have anything to worry about? Oh. You and Diane? Uh, what? Maybe. <laughs> what? No. Get out of here. Okay. I gotta say, Bojack. Okay, that did not. That is a relief. No, no, that did not sound trustworthy. How does Mr. Peanut Butter think that everything is going for him? Like, he doesn't get the signs. He doesn't even care about the signs. That, okay, I mean, this is the first time he actually asked, okay, I, I, I do have to get worried about this kind of, you know, you with my girlfriend. Because earlier he didn't really care much. Also, he got tennis balls in his car. <laughs> Funny. They were asking a horse for a ride. Like, horse, do you need a ride? No, he's usually the one who gives the ride. <laughs> what did I say? I said, hopefully, he doesn't take his head out of the car. Special plans for just the two of us. Oh, come on. You're the one who's always saying you want to hang out with Bojack more and how it's weird <laughs> that Bojack never returns your calls. And how <laughs> well, sh sh shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm trying to call you right now. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I. Guess we can make he likes sports, eh? Okay. <laughs> oh. oh man, remember that guy in 34 B? <laughs> I can't stop remembering him. Uh hey, Diane. Why why does he have to sit for a on a chair like that? Oh, oh, yo. There's something in my food. Oh crap. Someone get the manager. No, no, no. Wait. <laughs> it's supposed to Oh! Welcome home, honey. I got you a dependent. Because I'm dependent on you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> about some champagne for the happy couple waiter get me a bottle of dom to keep with the trend of sweet d gifts <laughs> you're too kind but everyone knows. oh he's jealous of Paul jack now get me your most expensive bottle from the back perhaps a 1922-ish heidsieck diamant bleu heidsieck diamant bleu i'd like a round of drinks for everyone off the menu of course oh wow okay oh jack folks what a sport and while we're all in gift just to impress Diane, 
Ball and Xbox, courtesy of me. I would like a PlayStation. Well, you guys don't have to do this. Look, I could. You know what? I'll take an Xbox. It's a free Xbox. Fun and also an offensive display of extravagant wealth. But maybe <laughs> we should call it a night. What's a rush? Because I just bought the restaurant and we oh, can wow. stay as long as we want. Hey, God damn. You, I own you now. Do a dance. <laughs> he just bought the restaurant. <laughs> Oh no, don't drop the soap! Oh no. Hey, sorry, bud. It's all yours. Please, you first. Apparently, we both like to be clean. <laughs> I love being clean. That's so coincidental. <laughs> the Aryan Nation is number one for a reason. Never thought I'd say this, but you put a pretty good spin on Nazis. <laughs> Need tomorrow. Shoot the shit with the guys, mostly about Jews, and make up your own mind. Until then, take my mostly car. Whoa, uh, where. Where did the car. Yeah, exactly. Oh, this is the oh, same. Jack, Todd, where the hell have you been? I had to carpool home from the airport like a goddamn <laughs> environmentalist. You're sorry, but I'm in jail, dude. What? Why'd you call the right person? Because I need your help and you're my phone a friend. Marie Curie won Nobel Prizes in which two sciences? Oh, look at how Todd is happy. Biology and physics. Oh, B! The answer's B! It's A! Okay. Damn it, Todd! This was life <laughs> or death. Same with me! The bell said at 50 bucks, I'll be here when- Oh no! It was just 50 bucks! You bought an entire restaurant, come on. <laughs> Yes, I'm gonna stay I the now. champion of the games! Did you see that, Diane? She's not here. Oh, she's. Uh, you win, old friend. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to take my girlfriend to bed. <sighs> so, technically, Mr. Peanut Butter wins. <laughs> night, Bojack. Good night, Diane. Give me a bottle of something to help me forget my problems. <laughs> Cyanide. What is this, breakfast? <laughs> yeah, that's about right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, wow. Love that. Worked effectively. It's a Hollywood done it as police are scrambling to figure out who stole the D from the famed Hollywood <laughs> sign. Holly. It's gotta be peanut butter. Hollywood. Can we cool it with the alliteration? Who wrote this copy? Who wrote this copy? <laughs> I love the way he talks like that. Why the hell would I steal a giant D? Ding dong. Why do you have the D here? Meanwhile, local authorities are already investigating several suspects. David Duchovny, Dick Van Dyke, DMX, and of course, Dane Cook, who we all know is a thief. <laughs> what is it, Bojack? You know, I'm tied up with all my deans today. Kane, Norris, Winters, and Coons. <laughs> all the deeds. It was me. I stole the D. What? Now be a good agent and make this not my problem. How did you even... <laughs> Scandal to work ratio is like five to one. Look, I need to get rid of this before Diane sees it. Why do you care if Diane... Oh, oh, fish. Are you in love with your biographer? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. <laughs> yes, he is. Get out of here. You stole the D for Diane. Yes. Unbelievable. You want to show the Mr. Peanut Butter. David, because apparently when I was drunk, I printed out a bunch of pictures of David Boreanaz. <laughs> no, yeah, David Boreanaz was living there. <laughs> Pulled it off, you deviant. What are you doing here? How'd you figure out it was me? Oh, how did I figure it out? Well, I just followed the clues, used deduction, puzzle solving. There's a giant D outside your home. What did I do? Oh, I listened to the voicemail you left me saying <laughs> you were stealing the D because of Diane oh. so I could, and I quote, suck your D. Stop leaving voice. <laughs> Am I attracted to her? Sure. Yes. Do my days feel better when I'm around her? Yeah. Yes. Does she get me in ways no woman ever has? Yes. Indubitably. Do I fan <laughs> Indubitably. But only in two positions. Look, am I the kind of guy who would try to steal someone else's girlfriend? Sure, yes. of course. <laughs> but do I like her? The answer is no. You have nothing to worry about. A punch, Bojack. Help you get rid of that D, and you never talk to Diane again. Well, I. All right, Mr. Peanut Butter. This is the first time I'm seeing him, like, angrily. But just don't pursue her romantically? Deal. Ah! I knew I'd get that handshake! I regret this already. <laughs> Spread them wide, ladies. This is a random cavity search. Why? Whoa. Oh, my God. I saw you talking to Klaus in the shower. Now, the Aryans are good guys. Don't get me wrong. But I don't know if you're going to get the right attention over there. Uh, I'd hate to get lost. Bro, you have hands in your asses at the moment, and you are playing the thumb board. Am I really being courted by two gangs? Yes. Oh, I feel like the bell of the ball. Ditch the evidence. But how? I don't know. 
<sighs> you think Bunny? these coffees would get the juices flowing? Well, they do have Baileys in them. <laughs> Is that why I feel drunk? <laughs> they have Baileys? I mean, I admit it's been bad for ideas, but it's Baileys been great for best. camaraderie. Couldn't agree. Everyone had made a hot chocolate and then put Baileys in it. Oh, it's tough. I agree with the Latin kings on social issues, but fiscally, I'm Mormonarian. Well, juggling both never ends well. Mr. Peanut Butter, ain't it? Mm hmm He's just staring blankly now. Stealing your thunder. You could mm. also just bail me out of here as I exactly. said. Exactly, it's just 50, 50 bucks. Gotta go, pal. Hope it's a magical oh my night. God. You bought an entire restaurant. You can spend 50 bucks. Come on. <laughs> Distraction to keep the eyes off the skies. You leave that to me. Well, wait. The big distraction is the deal. Better have a cup of coffee. If it Bailey's. <laughs> a celebrity is throwing away his hard earned cash. <laughs> Everyone pay attention to me. Oh, it's only one dollar bills, folks. Don't bother. No, Why? it's still free spendable. Exactly. It's still money. I would still pick it up. Well, nothing to see here, I guess. Ooh, ooh, oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Who's a... Oh, my God. American uh, singer-songwriter Beyonce <laughs> Beyonce. Point, but we do know Beyonce is a survivor, and, and it's presumably because of she Bojack. will keep on surviving. It's because of, because of Bojack. I'm being told she fell on all the single dollars. <laughs> all the single dollars? All the single dollars. All the single dollars? All the single dollars. Bills, bills, bills. <laughs> we promised to provide... <laughs> <laughs> a break in the story of the Hollywood heist. We now go live to the house of Mr. Peanut Butter, star of Mr. Peanut Butter. Oh, don't house. say Mr. Peanut Butter. Will say that I found it. I and I alone stole the D from the Hollywood sign for my girlfriend Diane. Why'd you do it? For well, my I'll girlfriend why, Diane. I did it all for my girlfriend Diane. <gasps> oh, fucking hell, boys! <laughs> <laughs> that literal son of a bitch. He's a literal son of a bitch. <laughs> Mr. Peanut Butter has confessed to stealing the D for his girlfriend Diane in what many are calling the most romantic gesture in the history of romance. If if Bojack would have said that, like I stole it from my girlfriend, they would have been like, "Fuck off, Bojack! You you ruined pro public property." So it, it would have been another, another controversy against Bojack. I really like to be on camera. And do you love? Anything or anyone? I gotta go. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> oh, maybe you made her run away. Oh, Toddy. Oh, Who's Jang is my. Gonna oh, my God. You look. You look beautiful, Holmes. God what? damn, Todd. This whole thing, the guards made me wear it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I'll, I'll be right back. I, I left my cot unmade. <gasps> oh, watch. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Hope you didn't think I was pulling an Anne Frank on ya. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. He's gonna stick with both of the teams? I was double crossed by the one man I assumed was too stupid to even single cross. Exactly, what? I thought he was I gonna. No idea what you're like, he was never gonna double cross Bojack. I always thought Mr. Peanut Butter would be more like, okay, yeah, things happen, okay, we move on. But I'm not gonna do anything harm to other people. Just a happy, jolly guy, but no. Peanut butter took my D and gave it to Diane. <laughs> this is more on brand for him than it is for you. What do you mean? Desecrating a major landmark in a drunken stupor, that's a Bojack Horseman thing. Uh -huh. Stealing it for your girlfriend is a grand display of affection? Uh -huh. That's Mr. Peanut Butter. Well, right. it would have been a totally different thing if they found out that you did it. Hey, no disrespect, but I got a few chess pieces I forgot need whittling. <gasps> oh, it's gonna change. Oh, okay. Back! <laughs> I was getting nervous that you left me for another game. <laughs> <laughs> this is not gonna end well. Both of them. I'd have to kill you. Oh my god. Okay. I was gonna say both of them. Both of the gangs gonna fight, but no. Hey, I gotta go. Uh, do a uh, prison thing. That sounds legitimate. <laughs> we are in prison, prison after yep. all. You gotta do a prison thing. <sighs> hey. Oh no. Why? Why are you wearing that? God? Why in the name of Pat Buchanan are you dressed like a Latin king? Uh, what? Hell, are you playing both sides? Look, yes, he's playing both sides. You are gonna get stabbed by both of them. In fact, if you just took the time to get to know each other the way you did me, I think you'd agree we don't need gangs anymore because deep down we're- He's getting stabbed, yo. He's getting stabbed. What do you say? This just in, a standoff at the Supermax has turned into a full-on <laughs> race war. But has <laughs> fallen in love with Hollywood it couple, Mr. Peanut Butter and Diane. Oh, no. <sighs> mm -hmm. 
Diane? <laughs> Let you know how much I appreciate you working on this book with me. I know I sometimes get carried away, but it's because I love you so much. I don't You're think a catch, does. Diane. And I think you know how much I love catch. <laughs> and I'm sorry if I've been difficult oh. in any way during this process. You know, it's it's really hard to... Two people fighting for one girl. <laughs> I've got an important question to ask. No cameras, no big spectacle, just me. Did you marry me? Oh. Call me back. Uh, this was Bojack, by the way. Horseman, obviously. obviously. Will you do me the honor of becoming uh, Mrs. Peanut Butter? Yes, I'll okay. marry you. Okay. But I'm keeping my last name. You hear that? She said yes. The, is it cameras? There are cameras here. She said yes. Come oh on my in god. here. Oh, oh my god. god. There were cameras. That's kind of shitty, Mr. Peanut Butter. Okay. Get out the consolation scotch. Turn the TV on. It's her. Make that celebration scotch. <laughs> What's the difference? It's the same scotch. <laughs> and hey, you. Hey. So this is weird. Uh, I'm, I'm engaged. engaged. Oh, huh. wow. Huh. So, Mr. Peanut Butter? <laughs> I saw ah. you left me a voicemail. <laughs> oh, fuck it out. Fuck it out. This has happened to me before, guys. I am I am Bojack in this situation. That has happened to me in real life. Getting a phone call. Oh, well, I'm engaged now. We were just boyfriend and girlfriend and a week ago. In a week, you are engaged to some random person I didn't even knew existed. You didn't even knew exist. Okay, I'll talk about that later. <laughs> well, nobody knows me like you. Time. Damn, I've said that to to my <laughs> marijuana. Oh my God! Okay. <laughs> See, you guys aren't so different. Oh no! Oh fucking hell! Thank God. Okay. Thought is safe. Run, run, run! We're free! Yeah. Freedom! I'm free! Freedom! Oh, wow. What a twist, huh? Wow, you almost got your jaw broken. Dory's in Hollywood. Ha! <sighs> Alrighty, people, so that was this episode of Bojack Horseman, where two guys are fighting over one girl, and meanwhile, when the one person finally got enough courage to tell this woman about his feelings, the other guy has already proposed, and she said yes, so there's nothing you can do at that time, there's nothing you could do. I cannot relate the whole, the whole thing with mine, because it's not the, exactly the same thing that happened. With mine, it was more like... We were in a happy relationship for two years. Uh, oh, two years? Three years. And uh, uh, she said that uh, it's her parents want her to get married because it's, it's India, there's an arranged marriage, right? At the, at the time, I was 22. She was 20. She said her parents want her to get married now. And I said, I'm not ready to get married. I'm only 22. Maybe we'll wait for, you know, three, four years. A week later... Uh, I get to know that she is already engaged. Her parents uh, uh, arranged her marriage with somebody else, and she got married the same day my cousin got married. So, while I was busy with my cousin's marriage, you know, doing everything, celebrating his marriage, dancing, getting all the work done, in the back of my ma my mind, it's also going. Today's the day my girlfriend is also getting married. <laughs> And that was shitty experience. That was so shit. She's happy now. I mean, we both loved each other to bits. We did. But uh, I guess for her, uh, uh, her parents' decision was more, more important. And I get that. There's nothing I could have done about it. I'm not going to quit. I'm still going to struggle, work hard, do our bit, and keep on going. And let's see what will Bojack do now. He will drink. I mean, you know, the Bojack said to his drink, that uh, you are the only thing that doesn't leave me or something like that. I, I used to say that to marijuana. Be like, everybody leaves me. You are the only one that sticks with me. Which is not right. You should not do that. You should not say that to your drugs or to alcohol. Because that way you will never leave it. No. <laughs> Just stay strong, guys. Everything will be okay at the end. The things that happen are meant to happen. 
so that we become the person we are today because they shape us yeah that's been it for today guys hope you guys have a great day say subscribe give this video a like and i will see you guys tomorrow Thank you.